Look at the bottom of the Saturn V's monster F1 engines. They have these enormous flared skirts, or bells. These weren't just for looks. So why did NASA design the Saturn V's engines with such massive bells? At its core, a rocket nozzle converts the hot, high-pressure exhaust from combustion into a high-velocity stream creating thrust. But here's the trick. Efficiency in a vacuum versus in an atmosphere is wildly different. Think of it like this. In Earth's dense atmosphere, exhaust gases can only expand so much before they hit the surrounding air. A smaller nozzle is efficient here. But in the near vacuum of space, those gases can expand much, much more. To capture all the potential energy and squeeze out every last bit of thrust, you need a much wider bell, or skirt, for the exhaust to push against. The F1 engines, each standing about 19 feet tall with a nozzle exit diameter of 12.3 feet, 3.7 meters, were optimized for this. While they started at sea level, they spent most of their brief burn pushing through thinning atmosphere. That huge bell, with its 16 to 1 expansion ratio, was designed to capture more thrust as the rocket gained altitude and the air pressure dropped. The J2 engines on the upper stages, which only operated in the near vacuum of space, took this concept even further. While physically smaller than the F1 bells, their nozzles were even more dramatically flared for their size, achieving an incredible 27.5 to 1 expansion ratio. This made them perfectly optimized for maximum efficiency, where there's virtually no air pressure to restrict the exhaust. So, those giant skirts weren't just for show. They were a brilliant piece of aerodynamic and propulsion engineering, crucial for maximizing thrust and ensuring the Saturn V could escape Earth's gravity and propel Apollo all the way to the moon. Truly a marvel of design. If you found this as fascinating as we did, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep growing our amazing community and help us reach the next milestone. If you really like this video, please show it to a friend who hasn't heard of us yet. Also, we love hearing from you, so please leave a comment below with your thoughts or what space engineering challenge you want us to explore next. Thanks for watching!